Hey everybody, you know me, Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. I'm doing a three-story condo out in, on Bainbridge Island. It's got some fading, I think, going on. You can see that purple shade. There's a master closet back there. This is the lower level. Woohoo! Finally got a chance to use my new rotary. Of course, I stepped this it up to three speed so that you wouldn't have to watch me slowly go across the carpet. But I definitely got a good control and feel for the unit. The manufacturer is absolutely awesome, 100% behind the product. They, when I told them the problems I was having, basically the lower handle, the bolts were stripped. <clears throat> so I got some replacement bolts, but the manufacturer um, gave me a 5% discount on the total purchase that I already paid, plus um, sent me a brand new handle. The entire um, handle from the bottom collar all the way up to the controls. So definitely recommend them. Somebody thought this was a plastic machine. They put some comments, but no, no, no. The only plastic thing is that cap on the top. This is like all metal, heavy, really heavy duty, really nice. Um, so I'll try and put a link in the description below. For $699, man, you cannot beat this. And the support you get from the manufacturer, unbelievable. More than I could have asked for. Very happy with it. Okay. Let me take a quick walk up the stairs. This house did have an elevator in it. In fact, we originally went up the elevator with the Auric. I could have bought the bigger machine up there, but these rooms were not too big. So up the second set of stairs. And you'll have an opportunity to see the stair um, modification, the pad. I'll put that in a separate video as well because I think I speed it up here really fast on this video. This is the completed work at the top floor of the master bedroom. Across the hallway, I'll be doing the stairs here in just a moment. Couldn't get rid of that fading color. <clears throat> Excuse me, and obviously there's some heavy furniture divots. Closet came out beautiful. Okay, so look at that machine, oh my gosh, my new pad driver, the Swiffer style invention, I'll put a link to that on there, this is just a green scrub pad glued to an old Oric driver with some slits in it so that you could kind of tuck the towel into the slits like you would on a Swiffer. And this is the first time trying it out, and I mean, it worked like a charm. It held on, it never popped off or got tucked under. I was able to just basically drop the level to level. That little stain on the faceplate, my wife pointed out, I'll come back and get that by hand. But this is working fantastic, and these are the microfiber... Uh, towels, the 14 inch by 14 inch. Uh, I'll try and put a link on there too. If you look at the last video, um, they were only like 15 pack for $15. $15.49, something like that, but well worth it. I mean, they're good quality, good quality pads. In fact, this may just work. I might just use it on the next level instead of putting one of my pad, regular pads on there. I'll just uh, do the rest of the carpet, put another microfiber on, because I can see the dirt transitioning. Came out awesome. I don't know if you can see that, the lighting's strange in here, but let me get close up and show the edge. You see how golden that is and how dark the bottom is? <clears throat> this is the tabs or the cuts that I put in there to 
push it in. I used a butter knife, I think, on this one and pushed them in, or might have used my pen. I think we forgot the butter knife. But you can hear how tight the microfiber will adhere to a green scrub pad. And look at the dirt. I mean, these people took their shoes off. So I got red marks where the cuts are on the outside of the green pad. So I know where to fold it in. And then pretty simple, just press it down in like you would a Swiffer. There's just little cut marks with a knife in the green pad. All right, and you can even pull the edges up. They actually adhere to that green pad nice and tight. So there you go, you have a perfectly circle unit. I'm gonna go to town here at three times my normal speed. I keep telling my wife if I do these videos and I speed them up two to three times faster, I might lose some weight. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. So this room did have a little bit of um, that shading going on, the discoloration. I think that's what it is. Otherwise it, otherwise, it could be some chemical that someone used that was improper on these carpets, giving it like a purple, hazy look in certain areas. But look at that pad go to town. I mean, that thing is doing the job. When I got to the end of this, I had already done the lower level with the big rotary machine. You saw that earlier. Um, this pad was filthy, surprisingly. Worked like a charm. Okay. Appreciate you guys watching another episode with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.